Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. In this video, I want to show you how to install ConfiUI with VNV. Uh, that's because I had some initial problems with installing ConfiUI with Pinocchio. So I also wanted to see if I could install ConfiUI just on its own. And actually, it's really not that complicated when you use VNV. So in short, you could say that VNV just creates an extra directory in your project directory where it will store all the needed Python libraries. And because it's its own environment, you are not blocked by any version issues, those kind of things, or that the Python environment is a managed environment. Well, here we have a page where it explains how to use VNV, which stands for virtual environment. So once you have your project directory, you can let Python create a hidden directory. It has a dot in front, so that means that it's hidden. And you need to activate it. Well, this is a command to check if you're in the right directory, uh, or at least you have the right Python environment. And from there, you can just follow the instructions to install ConfiUI. So if we look at the instructions to install ConfiUI, um, it says git clone the repository. And since I don't have a dedicated GPU, uh, I was able to skip this. But if you have a dedicated GPU, uh, follow these instructions. And then you can just install it. So let's just say when you're on a fresh Ubuntu installation, you might have to install git and pip. So once you have that, you can clone the repository. So let's just see. Um, let's assume you cloned the repository from here, your home directory, then it should be there. Now, this is the moment where you need to execute these commands for VNV. So this is uh, you only have to do this once, so I'm not going to execute it here. And let's just say, like I said, it's a hidden directory, so you don't see it by default, but uh, some file managers, they have the option to show the hidden files. So here's that hidden directory. Um, like I said, you only need to execute it once. So after that, you can just say activate it. Now you can also see that it changes this line. But just to be sure, you can do which Python. And then you can see that it uses the Python environment in the config UI directory. So if we go back to the config UI, then all you have to do is where did it go? Where did it go? Yeah, this line. Now I already installed it, so I don't have to do it here. 
Um, yeah, one of the other things I noticed with Pinocchio, uh, when you install Comfy UI, they also install the Comfy UI manager. And that is actually a extension. So they say, this is how you can install it. So go to Comfy UI custom notes directory. So custom notes. Now what you can do is say open in terminal. That means that you're already in that directory. And then just execute this and restart Comfy UI. So I already did that. So we are just going to start Comfy UI. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't have a dedicated um, oh, let it go, where did it go? GPU. So I need to run it in CPU only mode. So now it says uh, the GUI should be available from here. So let's see. And here we have Comfy UI. Now in my previous video, I played around with image to video. And now I'm going to show you text to video. Um, I think in the end I do prefer image to video and that you just do the images separately because when you do text to video, you don't know upfront what the image will look like. So here we have the Comfy UI manager uh, that is an extension. And the custom notes. So here you can see Comfy UI is installed because it's a custom note itself. So if we look at everything that I installed, the Comfy UI video helper suite, Comfy UI stable video diffusion, and the text to video for stable video diffusion. Now those are the notes, which is a different thing than the workflow. So the notes are like these separate windows, which you can say are separate steps. And well, I found this text to video workflow. So you can just download it. And then you can load that workflow. Um, it's the video. Where did you go? Where did you go? That's interesting. Oh, sorry. Workflow text to video. Uh, no, first, oops. Uh, clear this one. So we have to make sure that you have uh, a proper model file. So in my case, stable video diffusion XD. Um, 
I'm using the one that I got through Pinocchio AI. And here for the image generation. Um, yeah, I use Stable Diffusion 3. If you want to use Flux, then that is a different workflow to create images with Flux. Uh, and yeah, that might also be a reason why it's easier just to have the image to video workflow. But just for the sake of testing things, um, I already ran this. And yeah, it takes a while. So not to bore you with how long it takes. So, um, oh yeah, the output, yeah, goes here. Uh, so with stable diffusion, it's better to start with a photo if you want to have something looking a bit more photorealistic because otherwise it might be that you get like a grayscale image. Um, so yeah, better to put a photo off in front of it. Um, so like I said, I already tested this. So this is one of the images that was generated and then here we have oh that's interesting uh, so we open this in a browser let's see so here you can see that it tried to make an animation of it so yeah it's not the best looking animation but yeah this was just uh, testing purposes so yeah you also might want to have a picture of the cat with a different angle where you can see all four legs and perhaps then it will animate it in a better way but yeah the main reason for me to show you how to install comfy ui with vnv is that um, well, I was also one of the people that never tried VNV and I was a bit hesitant to use it. And some people say like, oh, as soon as I see VNV, it, it must be something very complicated. But in the end, uh, yeah, it's not really that hard. And yeah, once you're done, then it's a good thing to deactivate well, unless you really shut down your computer, then yeah, then it's not really necessary to deactivate. But as soon as you want to go to a different project directory with a different Python environment, then you have to deactivate before you activate a new environment. So this way you have two options to use Comfy UI, so you can install it yourself like this, or you can use, let's just say a package manager like Pinocchio AI. So that's all for now, and I hope to see you again in my next video.